Hey everyone, this video is going to be fairly short and sweet and addresses a question that had been requested in the comments section quite a bit. It surrounds a battle in the Order of the Phoenix where Dumbledore and Voldemort fight inside of the Ministry Atrium. At one point in their epic battle, Voldemort attempts to use Avada Kedavra on Harry. However, what is unusual about this segment is that Dumbledore is able to successfully prevent Harry from being hit by it. In fact, all of Voldemort's attempts at using Avada Kedavra, and there are multiple, are unsuccessful. This is interesting because we first learn about the properties of Avada Kedavra in the Goblet of Fire. In class, Moody, actually Barty Crouch Jr., is teaching the class about the unforgivable curses and clearly states there is no way to fend off the killing curse. So this begs the question, how did Dumbledore deflect an undeflectable spell? What I feel wasn't communicated properly was that Barty Crouch Jr. never said that Avada Kedavra was entirely unblockable. He only meant that it was unblockable by use of counterspells. In a duel or fight, a common counterspell that one might use would be something like Protego. In the case of the Killing Curse, however, it would go straight through the shield charm and serve as no protection to the caster. This includes all other defensive spells. There simply isn't a way to counter it with magic. However, you are able to block the spell if you put a large enough object between yourself and the caster. Though powerful, Avada Kedavra cannot pass through large objects. This brings me back to the scene in The Order of the Phoenix where Dumbledore successfully saves Harry from Avada Kedavra. In actuality, Dumbledore does not utilize any kind of counter curse or counter charm. He simply utilizes his magical capabilities to move a large golden statue in between Harry and Voldemort. This is explained in the following excerpt. But the headless golden statue of the wizard in the fountain had sprung alive, leaping from its plinth to land with a crash on the floor between Harry and Voldemort. The spell merely glanced off its chest as the statue flung out its arms to protect Harry. What? cried Voldemort, staring around. And then he breathed. Dumbledore. In this part of the book, Voldemort actually uses Avada Kedavra a couple of times, and is unsuccessful with each attempt. Page 813 states, Voldemort raised his wand and sent another jet of green light at Dumbledore, who turned and was gone in a whirling of his cloak. In this instance, Dumbledore simply evaded the spell, which is obvious and something that others should probably also do sometimes. Page 813 again says, Voldemort sent another killing curse at Dumbledore, but missed. Here, Voldemort just misses. This requires no work on Dumbledore's part. Then again, it says, another jet of green light flew from behind the silver shield. This time, it was the one-armed centaur galloping in front of Dumbledore. That took the blast. Here, Dumbledore brought one of the statues to life to absorb the blast. I think that the ease of murdering people with Avada Kedavra is a little bit of an oversight in Harry Potter. You would surely think that other cunning witches and wizards might have utilized tactics like evasion or blocking to defend themselves from the killing curse, but all too often they fall victim to it. It may require a bit of premonition and reflexes, but if you're standing face to face with Voldemort, you can pretty much assume that he is going to try and use Avada Kedavra at some point. He really is a bit of a one-trick pony sometimes. With that being said, I hope this explanation helped. If you guys have a video idea, please let us know down in the comments below. Until next time, you're a wizard, Harry.